I'm going to show you how you can update your group policy ADMX files to the latest version. So to start, I'm logged onto my domain controller. And what I'm going to do is download the latest ADMX files. Now the easiest place to get them from is the create and manage the central store for group policy page on the Microsoft website. I'll link this in the video description so you can come straight here and get the latest version. So on the web page, if you scroll down, you should see all of the administrative templates and the top one should be the latest version, which is currently Windows 11 2022, update 22H2 version three. So if we select that one, and that'll take us to the download page, and then we can just press download. That will then download the administrative templates for us. Once they've finished downloading, if we go to our downloads page, and then right click and install, and then just click next through the wizard, accept the license agreement, and then just keep pressing next. That will extract all of these files and it will put them in our C drive in program files x86, Microsoft Group Policy, the update version, and then in the policy definitions folder. So in here, we have all of our language files as well as the ADMX files. We've got these on our server, but what we have to do is have to put them into our policy definitions store. So now what I want to do is open up group policy and find out where it is getting the policy definitions from. So if we right click and edit any of our group policy objects, then under computer configuration, policies, and then administrative templates, it will say policy definitions retrieve from the local computer, or it will say policy definitions retrieve from the local store. Now mine is currently set up to look at the local computer. So what we'll do is we will convert this to a local store first, and then we will update the files. So what we'll want to do is open up a new file explorer window and then navigate to the C drive, windows, and then policy definitions. Then in here is all of our ADMX files and our language files. So if we copy this policy definitions folder, so instead of it being stored on our local C drive, we will move this to our active directory sysfile file folder. So if we navigate to our Active Directory domains file share and then come to sysfile and then the domain name and then policies and then if we paste that policy definitions folder from our C drive into our sysfile folder, what that will do is if we open up group policy again and then right click any of the group policy objects and edit now, if we come to computer configuration and then policies and then administrative templates, it will no longer say it's got it from the local computer. It's now being retrieved from the central store. So anytime anyone across the domain tries to edit a group policy, it will get the same policies from the central store rather than using a mismatched versions that are stored on the local computer that is running the group policy editor. So now we've converted this to a central store. What we want to do is come back to our policy definitions folder on our program files, Microsoft group policy, and then the latest version. And then within the policy definitions folder, if we scroll down and then select all of these ADMX files, in the version I'm using, there are 225 ADMX files. And then we can right click and copy them and then all we need to do is come into the policy definitions folder in our sysfile share and then just paste them in here. And then what that will do is that will go through and replace all of the ones that have been updated. So now our sysfile share has got all of the latest ADMX files here. And then the last thing we'll want to do is find the folder that we need for our language files. So at the top, we've got loads of different language files. I just need the ENUS files, so I can right click and copy the ENUS folder and then overwrite the ENUS folder that is in our policy definitions in our sysfile share. So now our group policy editor is always looking at our central store, which is within our sysfile folder. It's now got all of the latest ADMX files. It's also got all of the latest ADML files, which is the language files. So anytime anyone on the network edits a group policy 
and then they come to the administrator templates, it's always going to be pulled from the central store. So everyone's going to be using the same updated versions of the ADMX files. Now this update won't break anything within your existing group policies because the only thing that the ADMX files do is modify what appears within the preferences and the administrator templates. So any of your existing group policies that you've set won't break by making this change. It just changes how things appear in the policies and then administrative templates folder. So that's how you can download the latest ADMX files and then deploy them to the policy definitions folder of your group policy central store.